Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and in today's video I'm gonna give you guys some very good tips on how to improve and also how to get better here in Fortnite I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite way to improve as of recently in the game I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do so you guys can improve very quickly in this game So you guys can get more wins win more gunfights and improve all of your mechanics in this game very quickly and real quick, before we get into the video, I have a V-Book giveaway. On this channel, I give away 2,000 V-Bucks every single Friday. So if you guys want a chance to win some free V-Bucks to enter this giveaway, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you guys do turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video. And lastly, comment down below either your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account, and you guys will be automatically entered into the next giveaway. And also, if you guys like to support me in the item shop, all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom, click on support a creator, type in my code. My creator code is Young Humor, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator. And all right, guys, let's get right to the video. All right, so in this video, I want to share with you guys one of my favorite ways to improve and get better at this game. Now, I think this is a very, very good way to improve as of recently. So if you guys don't know, as of probably like two days ago, they removed skill-based matchmaking in the squad playlist. Meaning that when you play squads, you can literally play against anybody before the way it was, and this worked for any game mode, is you always played against people your skill level. So if you were a tryhard, all you played was against tryhards. And if it was your first day playing, then you were playing against people who just played that day as well. But as of two days ago, they removed skill-based matchmaking in the squad playlist, not in duos and solos, just in the squad's playlist. And I was actually trying to, I actually in the last two days when they removed it, I've already dropped five 20 bomb solo squads. And for whatever reason, I just wasn't able to save the gameplays to my computer. I guess the last two days for the live streams, I guess they're not fully rendered because they are a little bit longer. So I just haven't been able to save it. Otherwise, I would have showed you guys one of these gameplays. They're absolutely insane was doing them on live. But the reason why this can help you improve is because one thing that I had trouble with and that was kind of annoying for me to deal with, especially because of skill-based matchmaking, I was constantly playing tryhards, is if I wanted to change my binds, if I wanted to change my sensitivity, if I wanted to to try out new mechanics I wasn't able to do so because I know a lot of people say when you play against better players it helps to improve well that can sort of be true but also sort of can't and what I mean by that is when you play against really tryhard players, you're not going to be practicing new mechanics in the game because if you're going against Tifu, you're not going to be trying out a new high ground retake. You're not going to be trying out maybe a new weapon, maybe a new a strategy in your game because if you're going against really really good players you're not going to be trying out new things and if you want to improve and really be the best player you can you have to be able to try out new mechanics learn those mechanics and then master them and for example in my solo games like I said with skill based matchmaking if I want to change my bonds and one of the live streams I did I really wasn't able to because when you change your bonds, when you change your sensitivity, or you try something new, you're not going to be as good as you were before. At least some people are a little bit quicker, quick learners, where they can maybe get used to it in a couple of days. Some people maybe even like a week or so, or some people even a few hours. But whenever you change something in the game, it's not going to make you as good as before. And with skill-based matching, matchmaking for myself, I'm trying to learn new bonds. At the same time, I'm playing against the same level skill players that I'm used to playing. And I'm not, and it's just not fun because I'm not really i'm not really improving because i'm trying to learn new mechanics while still playing against the most try hard players in the game so even though some people say it helps you improve playing against good players but when you play against new players you're not really trying to perfect any new mechanics which over time it can really hurt you because if you don't learn new mechanics in the game you're not really going to be improving you're going to fall behind and you're going to get outplayed by those players who do learn the new mechanics so how that relates to squads is because in skill-based matchmaking being removed from squads, you are able to play against easier players for the most part. Obviously, if you just started out in the game, this isn't going to be true, but at least in my games, even if you are maybe newer starting out, I was playing against really, really easy players for the most part, and that's just my opinion. Some of you guys might think that some of the players I'm playing against are kind of good, which I did run into a few good players from time to time, but most of the people I was playing against were just really easy gunfights. I didn't have to try too hard, and the reason why this is good is because 
if I'm trying to change a new button, and also if you're constantly winning gunfights, whenever you lose, it's really easy to point out the things that you did wrong, because if you're going against a really, really good player, the problem is, is when you're going against that player that's just better than you, obviously they have better aim, they have better editing, they have better building, so you never really know specifically what you need to improve on, because literally you just need to prove everything to beat that player, because they're better at aiming, they're better at building and editing, so you don't really learn exactly what you need to improve on, versus if you play against people who may be average or maybe just below average, you're constantly winning gunfights, you're constantly able to try out new mechanics, but on top of that, say you lose two games in a row, most of the time you usually lose to the same mistakes. So for me, for example, one thing that I had a problem with that I noticed is when I was losing my solo squad games, it was usually just to dumb mistakes. And I was making mistakes like, for example, I was fighting against another player and I just wasn't paying attention. I, I heard a guy pull out his heavy sniper and then he just went into my box and like my brain just completely malfunctioned. So one of the problems that I was having that I noticed is that I really wasn't focusing enough or I wasn't making the best decisions. So the one thing that I needed to, to improve on was my decision making and knowing that I needed to improve my decision making really helped me out because when you can pinpoint exactly what you need to improve on, now for you guys, it could be building, for you guys, it could be editing or whatever the case may be be but once you're able to pinpoint exactly what you need to improve on it's very easy to do so because for example if you need to improve on your editing and you know there's a specific edit you're not good at you can practice that edit and you can improve very quickly because you know exactly what to work on i would say probably the hardest thing to find out is finding out those couple of things that you know you're not the best at now you can do this by maybe you know, analyzing your gameplay, maybe after you lose a game, you can really look back and say, okay, I lost this gunfight because I missed every single shot. And during that gunfight, I was able to outbuild and out edit the other player, but I just wasn't able to hit my shots. So I need to improve on my aim. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking the exact same thing I'm thinking. I just perfectly explained 99% of keyboard players. You have no idea how many keyboard players I went against that were way better builders, way better editors than me, but I just hit way more shots on the other player. And that's the one thing you need to work on is you always need to understand that you have to improve as many edits as possible. And that goes back to my first point. If you really want to improve in this game, you need to learn new mechanics. And when you're learning new mechanics, you also need to use them in game against other players because because it's a lot different from practicing them in creative versus practicing in, in them in actual games because in actual games there's definitely a lot more pressure because when you're going against real players you know it's kind of, you have the unpredictability factor where they could do something you don't know so i think improving in game is the best way to go so when it comes to learning new mechanics, there's a few things you can do. Like for example, you can learn new high ground retakes. You can practice those in creative. And once you start to give them, or once you start to have them down in creative, then you can practice them in games. And that's the part where no skill-based matchmaking in squads is very, very nice is because when you practice these new mechanics, when you first get good at them, obviously you're not going to have them down very well. You might have them down maybe once every two or three tries, but they're not going to be as consistent as you want them. But when you're playing no skill-based matchmaking in squads and you go against easier players, you're able to practice these mechanics just fine and actually improve on them versus you're playing a super sweaty arena game or a super sweaty solo game so basically the same thing as well solos and arenas at least for me seem to be pretty identical so after the past few days practicing a lot more playing a lot more solo squads but you don't have to play solo squads i'm just saying the squad game mode specifically and going against less skilled players for the most part i'm able to really really dig down and find out exactly what i'm not good at because the gunfights that i'm losing are something that I really need to improve. But I'm also able to improve new mechanics. I've been practicing new high ground retakes in my squad games that I previously haven't been able to do in solos just because the people I play in solos are just so try hard that you just can't learn new mechanics or you, you can learn new mechanics, but you just literally can't use them in games because if you try to use new mechanics against try hard players, you're gonna be losing that game 99% of the time and it's just not a good time. So those are my recommendations for improving at the game. I would recommend trying to play more squads because they remove skill-based matchmaking, trying to figure out exactly what you need to improve on, and as well, 
just trying to learn new mechanics in this game and playing in squads is going to help you out because when you are learning new mechanics you want to make sure that you're able to practice them in games and if you're constantly playing against really try hard players you're not going to be working on those new mechanics and you're not going to be improving as fast at the game and with that being said that's wrap up for this video if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked it make sure you guys do hit that like button make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already make sure you guys do turn on my post notifications so you guys can get notified for every single new video and as well i do live stream every single day on this channel at six o'clock eastern standard time so make sure you guys do come by my live streams if you guys haven't already or if you guys just forgot when i post it is six o'clock eastern standard time i live stream on this channel so definitely come by i play solos every single day and with that being said i appreciate you guys watching the video and all right guys i will see you next video